I'm back. Crazy Mike, Crazy Mike's discount videos. How you doing today? Oh, hey, by the way, your satisfaction is guaranteed or your money back. Uh, today we're just going to be doing a few more random style games. I can't read <laughs> this first one, unfortunately. Um, I found it on the free horror tag under Itch.io. Uh, apparently it's called Box Girl. Here's the screen. I wish I could read this. I wish there was a translation. I hope I didn't just... Oh, I did. I just told it to quit. Damn it. <laughs> I'm really smart. Can you tell? Okay. Uh, Wad moves. E does something, shift does something, space does something, and escape does something. I don't know what. But I guess we're about to find out. Okay. Look at my skirt. It flows. Do a twirl. Wish I could do a twirl. What the fuck? <laughs> <coughs> okay, so space turns me into a box. Okay. Okay, there's cutscenes. I like cutscenes. Cutscenes are good. Hey, bitch, come up here. I know bitch came up here. Where's she at? When do I need to turn into a box? Well, something's glowing over here, so I'm assuming that's important. Can't read that. Okay, so control turns me into a box, too. Okay, walls. This is a really dark game. Not like like the themes are dark and everything. I mean, kind of. I'm a box. I hear the ocean, and I am a box. I don't see any ghosts or nothing. There's a ghost. I'm a box. Okay, apparently she just despawned around the corner. What is with this, like, light jog? Okay, I can't go that way. So I'm guessing we follow the ghosty brick road. That's always great. Can I just, like... I can! Ha <laughs> Yes! That's where I came from. Okay, so the key goes to this hallway. Cutscene!
Bitch, no, you should have turned into a box. <coughs> okay. None here. Again, I can't read this. I have no idea if that's what that actually said or not. I, I am literally just going straight up with the little bit of Japanese that I know from JoJo's references. Okay, there's a ghost. I'm a box. Is that Sadako? I'm no longer a box. No! She got me! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> that was, um, Boxer Girl. <laughs> <coughs> I, uh, I don't actually know what to say about that one. That one was, uh, really something, wasn't it? Um, just, I'm a box! <laughs> oh, I really like it. I might do more of that one on my own, just, just because... Um, <coughs> I guess I'm going to talk about that one a little bit, because there are definitely some pros and cons. Um, cons was, it was bad. It, was just, it wasn't very great. Um, there, there was kind of a lot going on with nothing going on, and, uh, I don't know, it just didn't really lend itself very well to any of that. Um, the next game is called Cold Walls. It's another one that I found on the Itch.io free horror tag. Uh, this one is... Uh, legible, at least. O OBS does not seem to want to pick it up. It's going to be just a second to see what I can uh, fix there. Cold walls. Cold walls? Okay, I actually might not be able to do that one on this video. Um, OBS is not picking it up. So I'm going to try that one again later, I guess. Uh, so we'll move on to the next one. Which, let me just... Yoink myself biggest again. Biggest dickest. Heh <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, so pros and cons with, uh, Box Girl. Um, cons, it was just bad. There, there wasn't really a whole lot going on. There was nothing actually in the house. There was no clear objective about anything. Um, yeah, so if you see me looking over here, it's because I'm working on getting OBS set up, which is on my other monitor, which is all the way over here. So, yeah, don't mind me if I'm looking over here for a minute, because I'm, I'm just working on getting things set up so you guys can watch a game. Um, anyway, Box Girl, there was nothing in the house, um, even if it was in English, it doesn't seem like there was a, a whole lot there to explain exactly what the objective is, um, aside from just, like, get out of the house, which is pretty common for horror games, and horror in general, kind of the whole thing is just get the fuck out of the house, um, where the fuck is it, there it is, okay, let's see if it picks up this one! Oh boy! Oh, that did not do what I wanted it to. Never mind. Give me one more second. I've got to. Uh, <laughs> I've got to fix some stuff. There. Okay. Yay! This one's working. Okay. This one is called Doki 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 Anomaly. Um. <coughs> I don't actually know what the hell it is. Uh, apparently, it's an SCP thing. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can do a voice for this, but I'm still obviously a little scratchy. So bear with me. The first recorded death associated with SCP-8008 occurred on December 18th, 1997. The victim, Jean-Paul Riveau, 38, Caucasian male, was found pinned under his Dodge truck. Police on scene reported him being Hin 
being smushed to the neck like an empty tube of toothpaste. Exact wording. He's also smiling ear to ear and wearing a pair of novelty spiral lens glasses. The SCP Foundation became involved later, when the local detective assigned to the case was also found dead. Dismembered by his own lawnmower, smiling broadly and wearing the same glasses. Apparently, this anomalous pair of novelty glasses, deemed SCP-8008, allows the wearer to fall in love with literally anything. Of the original team of four researchers, I am the only survivor. Researchers Flint, Don, and Kramer were killed by an H2 pencil, a diamond necklace, and a pool noodle, respectively. Pool noodle? How the fuck you get killed by a pool noodle? <laughs> <laughs> Like, don't get me wrong, I understand, this is SCP shit. Anything can kill you in SCP stuff. But a pool noodle? And from what it sounds like, a non-anomalous pool noodle? Really? Come on. Because of my mental resilience, I have received Class 5 authorization to take the experiments to the next phase. I turn SCP-8008 over in my hand on the way to the testing chamber. Is this really a good decision? Probably not. The heavy doors to SCP-173, the sculpture's enclosure, are already open when I arrive. My assistant, Dr. Singer, is already, waiting, is already inside waiting, along with half a dozen D-Class personnel. The D-Class inmates are all staring nervously at the anomaly. Most of them have seen firsthand what it can do. Even with all the extra personnel maintaining eye contact with the anomaly, there's always the possibility that something could go wrong. All it takes is an instant when nobody has it in their direct line of sight. The best laid plans of mice and men. What was that, sir? Huh, nothing. Nothing. I need to focus. No time for second thoughts. Not after all the red tape I've gone through to get here. The chair I sit in is cold aluminum. Shut up, phone. Disposable, like everything else in this room. SCP-173 is at the opposite end of the square room. Far from the table I'm seated at. It's odd knowing that this vaguely peanut-shaped object could snap all of our necks in an instant. Even a blink at the wrong time, and you're dead. Take a deep breath and put on SCP-8008, the novelty glasses. What in the fuck is that? <laughs> um, hello? I check the microphone on the table to make sure it's recording. Can you understand me? Was that a reaction? Yes, I'm talking to you. Yes, you. You, uh, have very lovely hair. I think she liked that. Are you wondering how you're understanding? She, she actually responded. I can't help but wonder what the others in this room are seeing. I'll have to check the video footage afterwards. For now, I need to stay focused. D do you understand what I'm saying to you, SCP-173? Can you respond verbally so the others can confirm we're communicating? Maybe bang on the table. The twisted body of one D-Class personnel is slammed suddenly on the table <laughs> looking up at me with wide eyes. The unfortunate man is trying to breathe through a neck turned 180 degrees. A second clatter startles me, but it's just my chair hitting the ground. I, I stood up without realizing. She doesn't even seem to notice what she did. When did I start thinking of it as a she? Did, did anyone see what happened? I blinked. Me too. And me. And me. And me. Everyone just happened to blink at the same time. I will remind D-Class personnel that any deviation from eye contact protocol will have severe consequences. Uh, we can see that. <laughs> Beyond the obvious. Right. We're running out of time. I need to get back on track. Looking at the anomaly the whole time, I slowly bend and retrieve my chair. <laughs> SCP-173, are you proud of yourself? No. Wait, whoa, whoa, it actually verbalized? What do I make of that? Oh, well, that's good to know, at least. The noise of the alarm beeping almost makes me jump out of my skin. Perhaps that's a good place to leave things for today. Thank you for speaking with me, SCP-173. I stand to go, my eyes watering from resisting the urge to blink. Thank you. 
Her voice sends a shiver down my spine. I remove the glasses. Without them, the beautiful woman disappears, replaced by the concrete and rebar monstrosity looming before me. This emotionless face seems so alien to me. I rub my eyes after spending hours reviewing the grainy footage. Nothing. No hint of the young woman I'd been conversing with. Just the sculpture, with its fetus-like limbs and bulbous head standing completely still in the corner of the cell. Then, the moment when it blurs and shoots towards the unfortunate D-Class, and then towards me, stops just side of the table I'm sitting at. I jump at the sound of D-8269's body smacking wetly on the tabletop, even through my tinny PCB speakers. I cross my arms against the chill in my office. How exactly does SCP-8008 produce such vivid hallucinations? If that's what they really are. Moving forward, I'll ask Dr. Singer to record her perspective on the experiments, since mine is obviously compromised. It is critical to monitor any possible deterioration of my mental state. <coughs> I will also double the number of D-Class personnel in the room. As I drift off to sleep, my mind is filled with the events of the day. Wait, what the fuck? Okay. What the fuck is this? Uh, mini game, I guess? Weird. Don't put mini games in my SCP dating sim. Is this? is this an SCP dating sim? Like, I actually legitimately just have, like, no idea what the hell is going on. Uh, sure. That works. Great job, keep going, okay? I will. Oh god, she's here. Okay, um... Okay... I am very confused. Like, I am just extremely confused. Oh dear god, okay, uh, yeah, sure, let's do that. Uh, I've already met my goal, why am I still doing this? Uh, okay. The following afternoon, I return to SCP-173's holding chamber for the further testing. My head feels cloudy, filled with the strange dreams I'd had last night. I missed that one totally. Sorry, that's my bad. It doesn't really matter, I decide. It was just a dream. I need to focus on the task at hand. Even a momentary lapse in concentration could kill me if I let it. Afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Singer. Thank you for agreeing to monitor my reactions. Of course. I'm here to help with anything you need. She seems overly eager today, and it doesn't mix well with my splitting headache. Probably just trying to get a promotion out of me. Or at least over my literal dead body. Taking a deep breath, I put on SCP-8008. Is SCP-173 crying? Oh, what is it? Over my right shoulder, Dr. Singer scribbles something in her notes, and I try to ignore it. You came back! Of course, we still have several experiments planned. What's wrong? Why are you crying? So lonely. The expression on her face is heartbreaking. I can't imagine how isolated she must feel. Is it okay if I touch your hand? Sir, that isn't planned until experiment five. <coughs> but can't you see her crying? No, sir, it looks the same as it always does. She scribbles something else in her notes. Irritating. SCP-173 seems to be watching our exchange. She holds out her hand tentatively. I reach out and touch SCP-173's fingers with my own. For an instant, the anomaly blurs out of vision, and I can suddenly feel her hand in my own. Her small, warm fingers interlock desperately with my own. A distant part of me is shocked that nobody is murdered. Is everyone all right? The D-Class personnel all nod, thanking their lucky stars. 
we will proceed with the experiment. A moment passes as I dare anyone to contradict my order. SCP-173 has never turned down a chance to kill. This must mean we are actually communicating in some way. We're going to try some word association, alright? I'm going to say a word, and you tell me the first word that comes to your mind. Then I'll repeat it so everyone can hear, okay? I. Home. Home. Alright. Murder. Bad. Bad. That one will take some unpacking later. SCP Foundation. Uh, do you understand that one? What is SCP Foundation? Uh, it's, uh, where you are, I guess. Your home? No. That's not true. I am home. I watch over. I stand up without thinking, hoping to calm her down. What's it saying? Nobody blink. SCP-173 seems to vibrate in and out of my vision. Everyone stay calm. Implement Protocol C. Retreat in formation. For just an instant, as I blink unintentionally, I see her, and she really is. A monster of concrete and rebar with a hideous face of spray paint. The tabletop timer beeps. SCP-173 calms suddenly, surprised by the sudden noise. Did I do bad? I need to keep her calm while the personnel evacuate. No, no, you're fine. You didn't hurt anybody. The D-Class are slowly filing out of the room, and I need to get going too. It's time to go. Take the glasses off. Yes, of course. I'll be back tomorrow, okay? Be patient until then. That was too close. As I remove SCP-8008, I need to resolve to be more careful in the future. The sculpture's alien face seems to watch me as the thick metal door is shut tight behind us. Reviewing the footage brings no new revelations. The sculpture shows no sign of the distress I'd seen. The only one acting strangely is me. Touching the creature's hand had been a clear violation of the protocols I myself had set out for the experiment. Watching myself reach out and touch at SCP-173's stubby arms makes me feel physically ill. The photograph from the file of the Quebec man crushed by his own truck springs to mind. Perhaps the glasses are uh, cognitohazardous in some way. It will require more research. <coughs> Get 10,000 or die! Oh shit, oh shit. Okay, this is bad. Um... Oh, uh... Okay, uh, I'm... I don't like it. I don't like it! <laughs> oh god, this is horrible. <laughs> um... <laughs> uh, I don't like that it moves. Uh, god, okay, there's one. Okay, that's good. There's one, that's good. Uh, yep. Got it. Got it. Oh, god, what the hell. Okay, um... Okay, oh god. Please click on my face. Okay. Please, please click on my face. Uh... Yeah, sure thing, you've got it. Um... I'm real close to 10,000, if that's how you want to be. What do you mean if that's how I want to be? I clicked on your face. I think. <laughs> I, I don't actually know. <coughs> <coughs> okay then. Oh god, that, the meat, why the oh god, stop resi- I, what? I'm not resisting. What am I resisting? There, I clicked your face. Don't kill me. <laughs> I sit bolt upright in my computer chair, my heart racing. All I can see is her face, smiling at me, inviting me. My head is throbbing. I've already stayed up far later than is advisable. Have I slept? I can't remember. I, I don't feel well. I find myself wanting to visit eight... SCP-8008 containment chamber. Luckily, it's a safe class anomaly and requires only minimal security. Just that combination lock and a metal door. I need a drink of water. The halls are dim as I pat through them in my socks, but not vacant. Many researchers prefer the quiet of night to do their work. 
I nod bleary eyed assistant returning from the at, at a bleary eyed assistant returning from the cafeteria with a mug of hot coffee. He stares at me oddly for a moment, pausing briefly. Then he just shakes his head and continues on his way. What was that about? I just don't have the mental energy to worry about it right now. I look up after wandering for a while and find myself outside SCP-173's containment chamber. The steel doors are firmly closed for the night, interlocking like some giant insect's teeth. What am I doing here? What had I been expecting? I turned to head back to my room when suddenly... You came back! I spin around in shock. SCP-173 is just standing there. Outside containment. That is, if... If she's really there. If I'm not just losing my mind. What are you doing out here? She seems taken aback by my, re by my reaction. You let me out? What? That's all I can think to say. Oh, and please don't blink. I don't want to hurt you. My next words die in my throat as I realize just how much danger I'm in. She smiles, seeing my panic. I've got to go, but first... She leans in towards me, her hands going to the base of my neck. I really thought we had something together. Your subconscious wants this. Just let it happen. Where am I? Why does this place feel so familiar? Oh god, it's the meat! Should I should I have kissed SCP-173? <laughs> I feel like that would be a fucking horrible idea, but it's probably entertaining. <laughs> <coughs> about this? How about what? I Can you stop moving it? I can't. If you don't get 50,000 points. Oh, God. I will trap you here forever. Oh, God. Uh, I prefer not. Like, really. That sounds like not a good plan. Uh, oh, oh. Or you can click on my face. Where's your face? Here, does this make it easy? No, it doesn't, actually. I, not moving it at all would make it significantly easier. Thank you. Yes. How about... Oh, God. What? I can't... What? Stop. I can't do this. Can I, can I, can I just click on your face? <laughs> I... I... I <laughs> oh god, I can't, uh, what? I can't, I have literally no idea what's going on, uh, oh god, okay, uh, SCP-8008, log August 6th of 1998, Dr. Singer, the final researcher assigned to the initial SCP-8008 trials was found dead. Cause of death, strangulation by SCP-173. The incident is related to the SCP-173 containment breach. It led to the deaths of 13 mobile task force personnel, as well as three researchers and two members of janitorial staff. A new cohort of research will be selected to continue with research on the anomaly. Yeah, fuck it, let's go again. I'm just gonna uh, skip through <laughs> to the decisions. If I have to do this again. Oh god, it's what the hell is going on? That's different. I don't like this. Stop. Please don't. Oh god, stop moving. I don't want it to move anymore. Uh, uh, okay. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, da- oh god, uh, down. Uh, okay, uh, sure. I don't want to do this. This is horrible. Please don't let me do that. Oh, it's kind of, it's terrible. Uh, oh god, can it stop?
stop moving. I'm, I'm no good with this. Uh, 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 uh um. Get 20,000 or die? Oh, I'm gonna die then. Okay, this is not going well, yo. This is going actually very poorly. Oh god, I can't. I... Yeah, yeah, okay. There, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, 20,000 or die, I'm dead. I'm dead, I, I don't... That's just it, I'm just dead. I can't do that. <laughs> I don't even think there's a way that's possible at this point. This shit keeps moving. I, I want shit to, to quit moving. Like, really badly, actually. This is fucking terrible. Uh, okay, uh, down. Down. Oh, God. Okay, and skip again. I mean, for a horrible anime abomination, she is kind of cute. Hold her hand. Please don't do that shit again. Oh god, it's doing that shit again. I don't want it to. Oh god, stop. Please stop. Can it not? Please? I don't... Oh god, this is worse. This is so much worse. I can't. Uh, uh okay. Um... I didn't mean to. I, I, I didn't mean to resist. I just kind of wasn't able to do anything because this game we made is impossible. And I, I literally, the, there's no way in hell anybody could actually do this. Uh, yeah, see what, see what I mean? This is fucking bullshit, man. Please click on my face. I'm clicking on your... Oh god, <laughs> there's no way. <coughs> I, can't, I literally can't move anything. I can move those. Okay, uh, uh, god, I think that's working. I think. about the score if I felt like there was any actual way to win. I imagine I'm just dead. <laughs> like, I don't think there's any other way that kissing SCP-173 could go. Uh, like, I, I think that's legitimately just death. Or you can click on my face. Where's your face?
there's a good ending to that so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna give up on that one let's see it's uh oh god that's 35 minutes all right I'll do one more one more one more not that oh god not that one uh I've got one here called death flush <laughs> oh god <coughs> oh boy uh, yeah so this one's called death flush um, just working on getting it set up here, um, cause, yeah, my thing is, I, I'm not as good at this as, say, Markiplier or any of them. I'm just starting. I have not been doing this forever. Oh, God, this screen! Look at this bullshit! Okay. Let's do it. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Oh, God. Okay, WADS is block, shift is run, control is crouch, ease for inventory, left click is for interact and use, escape is to quit, please adjust your mouse sensitivity from the inventory if necessary. Okay. Oh, this is going to be something, isn't it? Okay. Oh, look at me and my, my hot punk girlfriend. Ronnie? Are you okay? I'm not Ronnie. Mike. I'm fine. It's just... I need to go to the bathroom. Aw, oh, baby. Do you want me to go with you? Yes. No. I must face this alone. What? It's about time to upgrade to a laser. Oh god, this is set like way fucking long ago, isn't it? I I would, uh, if it's really gonna be. Wait, did I just shut my fucking? God, what the hell? Caution, bad writing, breaker box in closet. Do not flip switches all willy-nilly, okay? Oh my god, I actually have a reflection. What the hell? This is my medicine. I only need it when I'm not well. It actually gave me a re fucking reflection. Oh god, what the hell? Oh god, what was that? Wait, what? Don't want to go in there if I don't have to. Why? What's in the closet, dude? Yeah, sure, get in. I'll take a pee in the shower. It's searing my... Oh god, it actually has like... Okay weird. My flesh isn't seared. Let's see what he says if it's too cold. Nothing. Okay. Uh. Oh, God. Really? Oh. 
Uh, where's the flusher? There's the flusher. What the hell? It won't open! <laughs> Ronnie? Is something wrong? <coughs> Help me! I'm trapped! Oh my god, those eyes. Oh my god, that walk! It's going to be okay. It's just duck. <laughs> it's probably swollen from the humidity. <laughs> of course. What was I thinking? I'll see if I can find a way to pry it open. Don't worry. Yes, yeah, sexy punk girlfriend. Let's find Doc Strawberry. He always knows what to do. Doc Strawberry. Okay. Die. Legitimate premium soap flakes. Sure, I'll take the toilet cleaner. Oh. box. It's got a rusty old lock on it. There's got to be a way to get it off. Good God, can I only have one light on at a time? Rain opener. Zero two one three. Okay. Matchbook. Okay, sure, I'll take the matches. because I still have no idea what the fuck Dr. Strawberry is. Like, I was thinking it might be one of these things over here, but... Uh, it's not... Uh, can I pee again? Do I need to pee again? Oh god, oh god, it goes upside down. Okay. That's why it's horrible. Okay, oh god, is it stuck this way? Need a screwdriver to open. Oh god, okay. Um... It's searing my flesh. Um, okay, apparently, uh, camera's just, uh, stuck this way now.
No nothing I can do about it, apparently. And I have... Oh, come on. I don't even know where the hell anything is anymore. I'm all uh, uncombobulated and crooked. Why is everything crooked? It's just an old bucket, okay? That's great, though. Buckets are useful. Oh, God. Oh, God. I have no idea what the hell to do with this one, and I've been recording for way too long on that. Anyways. <coughs> um, that's, uh, Death Flesh, apparently. Um, yeah. I don't know what the hell to do with that one. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, at least. Uh, God, if there's any anything else in here... I, I, oh god, I've got so many different... Um, I'm not... <laughs> oh, this is an interesting one, isn't it? Uh, just, just a bunch of random crap. Most of it wasn't good, most of it wasn't great. But, uh, hopefully it was all fun. And, um, I'm gonna probably just sit down and record some more. Just to make sure that I do have, uh, some videos to do. And, uh, hey, you know what? <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. And, uh... Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, ring the bell uh, so you get notified when I put a new video up. Uh, mostly every day at noon, unless I'm sick. Um, like I said, that most thought last week, um, right after the Halloween Horror Spectacuganza, uh, I was actually sleeping through uh, pretty much every day. That was not fun. Um, but anyway, yeah, unless I'm sick pretty much every day uh, around noon Mountain Time for now. Um, but yeah, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!